right, everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue. We'll bring you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. The Giants drop a heartbreaker to the Cleveland Browns, 17-13. Lowerky. Are you working for me? It seemed a low work for me. Lowerky, the new quarterback sensation of the New York Giants. Brian Lowerky, 11 for 19, 109 yards, a touchdown, an interception at the end of the game. You know, it's a game that I pretty much thought it was going to be. Uh, there, there, I have some thoughts on it. Did want to rant a moment about Daniel Jones. Where's Daniel Jones? Where is he? Where could he be? I can't find him. Oh, there's Waldo. Can't find Daniel Jones. The excuse that Joe Judge used that Daniel Jones, they didn't need to see him because they saw enough in practice. They saw enough in the scrimmage. They don't need to play Daniel Jones. All last year, all I heard, Daniel Jones sucked. Daniel Jones was bad. Daniel Jones was this because he had no practice. He had no preseason. Nothing, none whatsoever. He didn't get the game reps that he needed to be the NFL professional quarterback that we knew he could be. Okay. Didn't play against the Jets. Didn't play now against the Browns. Ryan Fitzpatrick paid, played. Tua played. Tom Brady played the other week. The GOAT played. And I have to sit here and hear about how Daniel Jones is going to be ready for the season. <laughs> really? And how we, and, and, but then, like I said, we had to hear all before how Daniel Jones sucked because of the fact that he didn't have preseason. Okay, we have preseason games now. And, and, and now, we're not, now we're just not even going to play with him at all. Now we're not playing them all. Nope, don't need to play. Don't even, preseason's not that important. I mean, I... Uh, and I'm sitting there and all the, all the, all the uh, Jojo's apologists, get out your chapstick. Stop kissing his ass. He was six and 10. Play your quarterback. We had to hear again for a full season. Everyone making mistakes for Daniel. Everyone making excuses for Daniel Jones because he couldn't play. How dare you question Joe Judge? I'm questioning it. Sorry. You need to get this kid game reps. And we've said this a million times. Game reps. Game reps. I don't care if you're not playing your first string offensive line. I don't care. You, you play your first string offensive line then. You give him a couple receivers. What you simulate in a, a scrimmage, in drills, is not the same as being on the field. Mike Glennon looked okay today, but we're all going to Lewerke some things. I liked Brian Lewerke. I didn't like seeing Kyle Aletta, though. 14 for 23, 552 yards, one sack. But, you know, there's some things, some players I think we need to just kind of move on from. Devontae Downs. People are going to say, well, he had seven tackles. Can we just get rid of him? The first two series, when he played against mainly second teamers, he, he, okay, when, what is it, was, what was the kid's name, the tight end? What was the tight end? Who's the tight end for Cleveland that was on the field? I can't, I can't even think of his name. It was not Jerry, uh, Genev- Jer- was it Genevix? Genevix? Andy Genevix? On his eight-yard catch, Devontae tried to push him out of bounds with his chest. No, you wrap him up and you tackle him. He couldn't hold his assignment in the middle of the field when they, were, when they first started the game. To me, the first two series are the ones you really watch. He, couldn't, he, he is not an NFL linebacker. He might, be, he might be one of the better ones we have on our team, but he is not an NFL linebacker. Carter Coughlin is looking like an NFL linebacker. Trent Harris, who I'm surprised, is looking like an NFL linebacker. Trent Harris. I think Trent Harris, if anything, should make this team over Devontae Downs. 100% easy. Cam Brown had a good game. O'Shane Zimenez was, again, he had a sack, but he was pretty much non-existent in the first two series. This is what I worried about. What, if you want to watch the game, watch the first two offensive series by the Cleveland Browns, because that's when they played their, most of their, some of their starters and some of their, most of their second string guys. It was off tackle left, off tackle right. The Giants couldn't hold the edge on running plays to the tackle, to the left or the right. Couldn't hold the edge. 
And this is what I talked about all year. This is why we need to sign someone like KJ Wright and bring in someone who is a professional defensive end. If you watch those plays, we were getting gashed to the left and the right on running plays. Off tackle. Why? Because Cleveland saw they couldn't, the Giants could not maintain the edge. And that's, that's what we need. That's what we need to do. We need to figure out, a, and I get worried that you're going to go against some teams that have some good running backs and they're going to do these things. They're going to rip us by go, and we're not going to be able to hold the edge via either the linebacker position or even via the defensive end position. Brightwell, I don't think Gary Brightwell is going to make the team. I was impressed uh, with C.J. Board and Dante Pettis at times. David Sills, I know he's the wonderkin. Again, three tar- five targets, only three receptions for 31 yards. He did have the nice touchdown of the shoulder catch. But there's too much talent on this team in the wide receiver position for him to, be, for him to make this team. Sorry, guys. I- I'm sorry, guys. I don't see it. I don't see it. And then he had the bad pass interference. You can't do that in front of the ref. You can't push off in front of the ref. <laughs> Long places. Don't do it in the middle of the field. Alex Bachman had a big drop. But he again was a one for six. Uh, I mean, you know, Devontae Booker looked really good. I, I think Bo- Booker ran the ball well. Six carries for 27 yards. Four and a half yards carries. Largest. We had a touchdown. Had a nice jumping touchdown. Elijah Penny. He's not going to be on the team. But like I said, we, can we just stop? Can we just please stop with, <laughs> with Devontae Downs? Please, I'm begging you. I, I, am, I, am truly, I, am truly, I am truly just begging you. Please stop. Same with Madre Harper. Madre Harper got burned twice basically on the same play. <laughs> the first time the guy should have caught the ball. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. Uh, you know what I really liked today, which was kind of interesting, was Matt Cole, the wide receiver. He actually, he surprised me playing defensive back. I, I, didn't, I didn't know he could do that. I really didn't. I know he's a wide receiver. I didn't know, man. I, I was kind of, you know, 5'10", 197 pounds. I was, I was a little surprised by that. I mean, the Giants played better. The offensive, the second offensive line unit played better. And I feel better that they went up basically against the second team of the Browns. I don't care about the end of the score. The unit played, the team played better. The unit played better. We saw some things we needed to see. Uh, John Rison, man. I, I like John Rison too. Hopefully he's, uh, he's okay with, he rolled his leg or something at the end. The way they were working on it, I thought it was an Achilles. But I like John Rison. He, I know he's trying to make the team as a tight end. He's probably not going to make, he's probably going to end up on the practice squads from where, uh, Simon Fraser College, some crazy place like that. I don't remember. He's 6'7, 220 pounds. But he looked good. He looked good. He looked good in the slot. I would have bring him, I would have brought him back in as a wide receiver. But like I said, it was a game that I don't want to hear. If Daniel Jones versus Denver goes 11 for 23, 150 yards, two interceptions, and a fumble, I don't want to hear he should have played in preseason because right now, there's a lot of people out there that are probably saying, oh, just you got to trust Joe Judge. Trust the process. There's no process. He was 6-10 and 10 last year. And, he, and, and let's be honest, Ron Rivera gifted him a win. And, of course, Evan Ingram took that win. He also gifted him a loss. But the team looked better. We have no idea what our, what our starters look like. We have no clue, and I think that's a dangerous way to go into the season, not playing these guys. And, and you can't go with, well, the, the Cleveland Browns are doing this. The Cle- we're not the Cleveland Browns. And I said this before. If you go outside the New York bubble, people say that the Giants looked overmatched against the Cleveland Browns during these scrimmages. Just saying that don't, don't look at Cleveland. Don't look at New York. Just Google it and look other places like Yahoo and other places. They'll tell you the Giants looked overmatched. Just saying it. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best of New York Giants sports talking entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you subscribe, bring the play thing that means that'd be awesome.